Tales of Hoffman, uh, an opera by a French operetta composer, who all of a sudden, at the end of his life, wrote this piece that's so much more than that. Standard part of the repertoire, people love it. Absolutely. It's about this crazy man who's looking for the, the perfect eternal woman, isn't he? Yes. Uh, and it's a woman playing a boy who's the muse throughout the entire piece. It's yeah. fascinating. I think the first time I heard the Tales of Hoffman, what impressed me about it the most was it's a fantasy world. We're entering the mind, the soul of a poet, seeing his world through these sometimes inebriated but always slightly distorted eyes. And I think that's one of the things that makes it such a fantastic theatrical experience. I'm such a lover of French opera. There's something about the gesture that requires a warmth in the sound, but also agility and high notes. It sort of call, it just requires almost everything that a singer can offer. Also, the three soprano roles, the three roles are so uh, completely iconic. Yeah. You have the doll, you know, the yeah. perfect mechanical woman, yeah. and then you have the, the, the sort of victim, the ultimate victim, which is most of the lyric soprano repertoire <laughs> yes. is that. And then you have the seductress, so yeah, yeah all three. We have three wonderful singers for the, for the ladies' roles. So not the... one person doing all three roles, which has also been done in history. Well, that's right. And in fact, um, the Antonia is Erin Wall, mm -hmm. who actually did sing all the roles all oh. in uh, Santa Fe this summer. Then we have Anna Christie, who is marvelous at the, uh, will be a great doll. And Alison Cambridge is one of the most beautiful women in opera and a rich voice. She'll be perfect. And wonderful tenor role that Matthew Polanzani is going to do, and which will be quite beautiful. You've worked with Matthew. Matthew, we've sung Traviata together a couple of times. I could not think of a better singer for this opera, and I'm, you're so fortunate to have him here in his role debut, but it's just his singing is so elegant, perfect for French repertoire, and he's terrific on stage, ideal. And of course, he's, he's one of our own. He's, he's, he was in the Ryan Opera Center Oh, and has gone that. on, one of our many alumni who has gone on to, to stardom, so we're particularly proud. And James Morris, what a technique also. He has just sounded amazing for a long time and a distinctive, snarly, villainous sound for this role. And he has such a long history with this company and has sung so many things and is really very much loved by the public. And we have, because, you know, French music, I, I'm always very fussy about who comes and works on French music here because it's the style is so important as you know I mean Massenet and, and right. then Offenbach need such it, it's that the quality of the music that almost the sort of sensuous quality of the sound that right. you need so I'm delighted that Emmanuel Villon who has been with us um, a couple of times already is coming to at the helm of this and of course it's very important opera because it opens the season mm -hmm.